So let's make backpacking more like CrossFit in that we just won't shut up about it. So what is it that makes someone a backpacker? I think it comes down to two really important traits. And in order to get to the second one, I need to explain the first one. First trait that's really important for someone to be considered a backpacker in my mind is that they're committed to individual growth. And I think that comes in a pretty specific four-step process. The first step in that process of individual growth is self-evaluation. And not self-evaluation in a critical or a harsh way, but the willingness to look at yourself, observe yourself, and see your own limitations. And understand where you start and stop, and what's right and wrong, and what's good and bad, and what you want and what you don't want. The next part of that process is all about setting goals for yourself. And it's a pretty personal process. It's all about understanding what it is that you want to accomplish, and what you want to set the goal for, and how you want to achieve it. For some people it's going farther, for some people it's going faster, for some people it's going lighter. For some people, it's just about being more comfortable. And once you've set that individual goal, it's all about getting ready. For backpackers, getting ready and prepared to meet that goal usually happens in three ways. The first way, it's all about learning new things, new skills, new talent. The next way is all about ideas, understanding new principles. And the last way is usually has a lot to do with gear and understanding new tools and equipment. final step in that four-step process is all about testing. Testing your new gear, testing your new skills, testing yourself, testing your stamina. It's all about getting out and doing it. And that part's addicting. The cool thing is that it's actually in the trying and the failing that the growth actually happens. And that brings up our second personality trait that makes someone a backpacker. They take that, that deeply personal commitment to individual growth and they, they share it for the sake of other people. They take their failures, they take their successes, they take their learning, they take their preparation and they share it. They create a more valuable community of backpackers. And I think that's the one characteristic, aside from individual growth, that anybody can have that makes someone backpacker-ish, is that they have the desire to share that growth 
with a community. And it's a pretty powerful thing to see. It's also the reason for this channel. I want this to be a place where people who have never backpacked before, but have that mentality, can come and learn. I want this to be a place where experts can give back. And I want this to be a place where we can share failures and successes. So there's really gonna be three types of content on the channel moving forward. The first one is gonna be educational videos, knowing how to do things and what to do, skills and concepts and ideas. The second thing is gonna be gear, not reviews, because everybody's got a different thing to use things for, everyone's got different preferences, everyone's got a different goal, but specifically videos that are geared towards the fit, form, and function of a piece of gear where it's applicable, where I would use it, why I would use it, what do I need it for. That way, anyone who might not know can find out without any apprehension how something can be used, where it can be used, why it can be used. And the final thing that we're going to push content for is going to be trip videos. Now, not specifically look how cool I am videos, because I'm pretty cool, but more specifically, where can I go? The trip videos that I'm going to put out are going to be geared towards what to expect. You'll have a map, you'll have elevation profiles, you'll have information on safety. The whole point is to get more people in the community sharing growth and providing more value for more people. The best way I can see to do that is to start more conversations. So let's make backpacking more like CrossFit and less like philosophy in that we just won't shut up about it.